All right, everybody, welcome back to TDT Outdoors, and today we're gonna to be making some homemade fish rangoons. All right, so we are gonna get started here and the first thing we're gonna do is uh, get going on the fish here. Uh, currently have the oven preheating to 375 and uh, gonna be using a just a basic uh, baking or cookie sheet here. Here I've got a plate full of uh, fresh fish. You can use fresh or frozen fish. Uh, this is kind of a mixture of uh, perch and crappie that I ended up catching today. So first things first is uh, I'm gonna start laying my fish out on the baking sheet here. Um, this is kind of one of the areas you can kind of personalize your rangoons if you want where if you're looking for a, a, a more meatier, fishier rangoon, uh, you can use more fish um, or if you want a less meaty, you can use less fish obviously, but I'm um, going to get all these fillets laid out here in the pan first. So the next thing I'm going to do here is just a little bit of olive oil and I'm going to do to just drizzle an extremely small amount across the top of these fillets here. And then I'm gonna kind of just rub the oil so that the whole fillet is coated. Flip them over and then you're going to repeat the same process. A little bit of oil, and rub it onto the fish. Now that we have both sides here of our fillets uh, kind of um, doused in oil, we're gonna give a little bit of seasoning here. You can use whatever you want. Um, but I kind of recommend always using uh, pepper, um, salt, and garlic every time you do it. But this is a little, a little blend you can get at Walmart. This is where I pick it up at least. Uh, it's called Fishmonger. This is pretty much what I use on all my fish or seafood when I'm baking. But it's just going to come over top of these fillets here. Give them a little bit of seasoning. We're going to flip the fillets over and season the other side as well. So now um, we got our oven preheated, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cookie sheet here with our fish, and we're gonna cut it here in the middle rack. Then we're gonna put it on a timer for about 10 minutes. Um, it's usually 12 to 10 minutes, however long it takes to get the, the uh, fillets nice, white, and flaky. And while we are waiting for the fish here, we're gonna start our, uh, getting our mixture mixed up. Um, start with one eight ounce block of cream cheese. So we're gonna put our eight ounces here in our mixing, and we're gonna dump her in a microwave to get her nice and softened up. All right, so our cream cheese has microwaved, and I lost my spoon, I found it. And looks like our cream cheese is nice and soft now. So now we're gonna come over here and add the rest of our ingredients. We're going to start with one teaspoon here of powdered sugar. We're going to add two teaspoons of minced garlic and then we're going to add all our green onions start getting this nice and mixed up here a little bit and then uh, once our our fish comes out um, our fish is going to get added to this and uh, we'll mix it up again and then we'll uh, start wrapping our wontons fish has been in the oven now for 10 minutes we're going to pull it out and give it a check if you kind of come in here and just look at this, if you pull a little bit away, you notice that flakes away real quickly, real easily. So I would say this fish here is done. Um, and all we're going to do is we are going to add all of this into our mixture here. All right, so now we're gonna start uh, wrapping our uh, crab rangoons here. So here you start with one wrap and I like to just lay it out right here in front of me. You're gonna grab one good spoonful here of the mixture and lay it right in the middle. You don't want to add too much because you'll notice that at the end that they won't want to close fully. And then here I've got a little bit of plate with a little bit of water so just get your finger wet. And you're just going to get the edges nice and wet here on each side. And then this is probably the easiest part here. You're going to take two opposite corners, pinch those together. Bring your other corner up to that, and then bring your fourth corner up. Pinch your edges. 
and boom, just like that, you've got a fish rangoon. Okay, now that our rangoons are all done, it's time for the best part, and that is the dipping sauce. So, very secret here, but what we're gonna do is start with a little bit of soy sauce. We're gonna go for two tablespoons of soy sauce. There's two. Now we're gonna go for a tablespoon of the hoisin sauce here. We are going to go with three tablespoons here of the rice wine vinegar. We're going to go with one tablespoon of uh, hot chili sriracha sauce. We are going to add two teaspoons of pure sesame oil. And then lastly, we're gonna add a tablespoon of honey. And that's it, and then once you kind of got them all in there, just kind of give it a nice stir. You wanna make sure everything is nice and combined, but this will be an awesome dipping sauce for your fish rangoons. All right, so now we have all of our rangoons wrapped up here, and uh, we are not going to be cooking all of these tonight. We're gonna to be just making a few of these. So if this is something that you would wanna do in the future, you can too, but once they're made, you can either um, stack them in Tupperware with some wax paper in between, or you can uh, throw them right on a cookie sheet and in the freezer, and then once they're frozen, uh, put them into a bag. But uh, you can make them like this, and then freeze them how they are, and uh, whenever you wanna eat them, just pull them out of the freezer, and toss them in the hot oil, but uh, we are gonna get a few of these made up here as uh, Emily and I do wanna have a few tonight with dinner, so um, don't crowd the oil just like anything else. Just, you know, dip a few in for a batch. We're gonna go four to start with. We're actually gonna go five, I'm kidding. And we're gonna drop them in. Let them, uh, let them boil to golden brown, and uh, once they're golden brown, we're gonna pull them out and let them cool and we're gonna eat them. Our rangoons here are finished, perfect golden brown. And we're gonna let them cool a little bit before we uh, dip in. All right, I think our Rangoons have had time to cool off now, and uh, I think we are gonna give them a little bit of a try here, so I'm gonna pick one out. I like this one right here. Oh, you have it. So, got our little Rangoon here. Gonna come into our dipping sauce here. A little saucy, but we're gonna give it a go. Super good. I hope you guys uh, can try this recipe out and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it as, uh, as much as we do.